Hello everyone and welcome to Tasa Springs, our Vanilla City Skylines playthrough. And thank you so much for the support on the last episode where we actually talked a little bit about the the mods that I am running on, on the city. It was supposed to be a normal episode and I recorded the footage. When I watched it back, it was unwatchable. My computer decided that it didn't want to compute anymore. However, in that episode, um, we looked at a few things and created a few things. So I'll just run through that really quickly. The first thing that we're going to look at is this trumpet interchange right here, where Tobias, in two episodes ago, when we created this, rightly pointed out that I didn't do lane mathematics, which honestly, I just forgot. I usually would do lane mathematics or yumblefy this these intersections. But then in that episode that you never watched, uh, that, that never came to life, I went in and, and, and fixed it. So. We put a little uh, two-lane highway after after this lane goes off. We put a little two-lane highway with sound barriers just because I like the look of it. The uh, Yeah, it's very pretty. I like it. Um, which basically means that here there's now a dedicated turning lane to go off on whatever street this is called. And we did that on both sides on over here as well. So thank you for that uh, reminder, Tobias. Thank you for... Uh, for having a keen eye on this. I also created some more residential because uh, our need is, is and continues to be quite high. So we put some more residential into this triangle right here. Now, this dirt road right here is actually just me uh, preparing for where the train line is going to run. So it's going to be an elevated train line that's going to cross through the city here with uh, obviously coming from this uh, plateau, which will be not plateau, this area here, which will be the public transportation hub. This district here was named after one of the wonderful subscribers of this channel, Ardavan, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. So this is now the Ardavan Triangle. And that district is uh, from this house here, takes in these two churchyards and then goes all the way into here and crosses over like so. However, in today's episode, we are going to actually expand even more on the residential part. Uh, so I was sitting earlier today just looking at the map, and I think this peninsula, when we get to right here, this peninsula is going to be the downtown, sort of where all the skyscrapers are with, with gradually growing from here, and then the tallest out towards the lake. We may increase the size of, not the lake, the river a little bit. But in today's episode, we're going to put a wonderful, wonderful, big residential area in to this area right here, to this square. And I'm going to break the the grid a little bit, which is right now running very much uh, north, north to south, east to west. We're going to pull away from that a little bit. And we're going to use this as the baseline. This is the ring road, right? So we're going to use that as our baseline to create a new uh, directional grid. We're also going to move this. Actually, we'll do that right now. So we'll come into under landscaping disasters and then we'll just collapse it make it go away since it is full bing 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 uh of course we have to hit play for it to actually work and there it's gone we can now delete it hey ho bob's your uncle anyways let's pause the game again for a second here our demand for residential is very high uh so big boy demands which also means i'll keep it on pause for for a little bit since all of this industry they're basically screaming for workers so if we hit play they'll they'll just all abandon ship basically speaking of this area i did change something in this rodini forestry park here so i put in there were some uh, generic industry here instead i put in some some warehouses right so these are just in uh, zoned industry which is forestry is all we have right now and then uh commercial zone goods right so commercial things that this industry produce they'll put it in there and then be transported out very very soon we'll have to take a look at this intersection the overcharged overpass because it's creating all sorts of issues but we'll get to that when we hit eleven thousand uh, peeps in the city now i've babbled enough let's get straight into this so i'm going to clear out first uh, a bunch of these trees I don't know why I didn't think about using the forest, forestry brush for this, but we're going to clean out all the way down to about here. That should do it. And then we'll have to think about what do we have here? Is that not a bear? Oh my God, it's the bear. The bear is back. You've moved. 
we're gonna probably take away your habitat. Sorry about that. Well, already that. Oh, there's two. Oh my god, we have so many bears. So many bears. Another bear. Interesting. We'll keep an eye on these, uh, on these fellers. Anyways, <laughs> I got distracted. Let's see. All right. So we need some sort of entrance into this city, and I'm thinking we need, we need this uh, to continue being a bigger road. Uh, which means that we will have to remove uh, some of these houses, but that will be fine. So let's start with adding the tram, trolley bus, nope, tram, there you go. And let's see, will you accept this? Yes, indeed you will. And I think we'll we'll do something for, for the bikes over here. So it's going to remove a bunch of houses, but we'll be okay. We'll be okay. Then we're going to drag this out just like so, I believe. And then here, we're going to come out from not too close to that intersection, but also not too far. And we're just going to come out perpendicular, like so. Cool. So that will decide the, uh, well, the grid that we're going to use, basically. Then we'll take from here, we'll make another T-junction, make sure it's perpendicular to this one, which it won't really be there, will you? See, there it's not. It's slightly bending. So if we do it here... Yes, perfect. All right. That would do it. Whoop. That's not what I wanted. But there you go. Now, let's take our two-lane bicycle road here, and we'll create a little bit of a frontage road system. So we'll leave a space of three tiles from the, from the main road here, and we'll just pull it in and not meet up there, but just go to... Well, almost the end. And we'll have possibly some bicycles going around here as well. On the other side, we'll do somewhat the same. We'll pull it up almost to uh, to this point. Up here, we'll have a sort of an end of the grid go through. Okay, we do need to correct this one. Go through at a perpendicular angle. And it'll meet up with this, I think. This may change. It may or may not meet up. It may be too close to this one, but we'll see. Now let's fix this one again. Okay. So actually, we'll we'll do something like this instead. Now it's because these are on different grids. That's why. So we'll leave it as a frontage road, something like that. Yeah, that should be fine. A uh, little bit of a broken grid here, but it's okay. Maybe we'll just do that. We'll just pull this out as far as we can. Have a nice little triangle there. That's all right. We can put a, a bush in here. And on the other side, we'll have this run out to about 10 tiles. Maybe we'll come out here. Let's see. Do we like that? Yeah, we do. Okay. Nice. How is this looking? Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Cool. On the other side, we'll grab our bicycle lane road. Bicycle lane road here. Let's just upgrade these two so they actually have the uh, entrances as well. And then on the other side, I don't want uh, four-way junctions when I can avoid them on this on this part. So we'll come down on either side to about the end of the forest to about here, which will be somewhat the baseline of the grid. Okay, but let's let's do it correctly as well, shall we? Let's just remove that part and then we'll pull this over like so. And that should be good. Cool. Now in here we can come out from from one side, pull it out. Let's pull it out somewhat to the center. That's nice. That's nice. And from here we can come up as well. Let's see. Let's create a little bit bigger and then we'll break the grid right there. Like so, that should be good. That can actually just go all the way up and connect to this one. And then, yeah, we'll connect all the way up there as well, I think. And I think here we can just split this in two with that same frontage road system that we have on the other one. And we'll just have it connect on one side. Like so, that should be good. Cool. Let's see. Should we connect there? Nah. We'll go up to here, and we'll have some 3x3s on this side. We'll go to about there. 
and then we can connect down here. So I'm kind of winging this as we go along, uh, just sort of trying to create what what I would deem as an interesting interesting grid. Yeah, so that's good. That should house a lot of people here. We could even pull this out as well. And just alongside this, have a bit of a frontage road system going up until, well, up until this part right here. And then we can say here, if you will, if you want to, you can come on to the, uh, to the ring road, but you can't come off. If you want to come off, you'll have to come into this intersection. We'll see that how that goes. We'll see. But I think that's nice. We'll have a little path over here. Maybe we can think about some services. So I'm thinking in these holes, we could take a look at what kind of parks we have. And I know we have a dog park somewhere. There you go, dog park. It's good. It has a nice big circle of effect. And I think we can we can make room for that sort of in here. Let's use a nice road. Use a road with trees. Just so we can so we can say hi to this dog park in a in a nice way. <laughs> Something like this. And I think we'll we'll connect it up on both sides. Let's grab this dog park. Will it centralize? Not entirely, but that's okay. That's okay. Yeah, that's nice. And we can build out the rest of this as sort of a, a little bit of a green belt. Okay. Let's see. What can we put in here? Should we make a little bit of a plaza? I think we should. Let's go into the city park and we'll grab the uh, park plaza. And I believe if we are smart about it, we could place two of these down. Yes, indeed. Perfect. So we'll do a little bit on either side here. Just for the for the people to have a nice a nice place to go, and maybe a little park on this side also. Let's see what what we got. What do we have? How about this? I think that's a good that's a good park to put put in here. Yeah, that's nice. This also does it does have the paths that you can connect to, so it's already connected up here. Nice, very very nice, very good. Now we also need some police and other services. And I think we'll use this, the fire station. Oh man, that's a, that's a big one. Could we rethink that? What about this one? Is that a little bit smaller? I, but I, I really like this one. Let me think. Let me think. What is it? It's one, two, three, four, five. Let's, uh, let's have it here. Cool, so now we have a fire station. And they do have quick access to everywhere they need. That should be okay. Now let's think about a police station. And I think this would be a good police station to go with. Because it has the sort of same same style as this. And it's a bit, what is it? It's four grids. So it could be placed somewhere like this, you know. That should be nice. Just on the corner over here. Do they want some health care? I think they do. Let's see, what do we have? We have the old style hospital as well, which is four as well. So I think we'll put this in a bit of a more secluded area, but let's let's think about child health care and elder care first. So would that actually fit in like this? No, it wouldn't. Cool. But it would like this. So I have an idea close to the hospital. If we put this down here, we take a nice tree road and we drag it along the back here, like so. Then we can swap this around and we can put the hospital in there, I believe. Will you? Yes. Perfect. Just perfect. And then on the side, we'll have a tree row. I think they fit very well together. Now, high schools. We... Uh, we have an okay capacity for elementary school. We have no capacity for high school. So I think in this area, we will put in a high school. Let's take a look at what we have. This is an elementary school, the high school. Do we like this big one? This very, very big one. Let's take a look. Where could we put this? How about by the water? 
Wouldn't that be nice? I think so. So let's give it its own entrance. Again, with a tree road here. We'll pull this up like... Let's remove some of these. Just to save the node count. But we'll pull up here. And then we'll put this down. Now, do we want it on that side? Not really. We would actually want it on the other side so that the so that that rest area is away from from the street right this so asset placement super super important but i like this i like this a lot and i think next to that we could run with a bit of a kindergarten something like that let's see if it'll let us box it in yes it will perfect and for the trees here, I think we can go we can go with a different type of tree. We can go with a maybe a smaller tree. Yeah, I like that. We'll run with this tree for for this. Should we box this in? I think so. Let's try it. Let's see what happens. Almost. Let's run it down to here. And for the rest we'll have maybe paths. We'll we'll get to that in the detailing time lapse. Cool. Very nice. Very pretty. I think that's a perfect spot for school. And I think with that we are we're ready to to welcome in some new uh some new residents. Well not really, because we have traffic lights. No, no, no. We want stop signs. Stop signs all around. Here as well. No traffic light on. Uh Will you give way? You should give way. Yeah, no traffic lights on the uh, on the ring road. We don't want that. Cool. Perfect. Let's see how that looks at night. Yeah, see, I like how the how the grid breaks. All right, looks good at night. I think. Let's talk about maybe having a little bridge uh, for for the ring road here. So let's go into our highways and we'll take not with the sound barriers, but we'll take the two lane highway. And I think right here already would be a good spot to start uh, to start going up. So we'll turn our road guidelines off, make sure our elevation is set to the lowest, and we'll come up by 10 and come up by 1. Another 10 and up by 1. Another 10 and up by 1. And let's see, because I think because the ground is going down, that should allow this to sort of just smoothly run over yes indeed it does again we're not having any ferries uh because we don't have any ship connections so we're not going to have big ferries running up and down so we won't have to worry about the bridge height but let's see what happens do we want a bridge like this i think we could we could do that it is quite a long bridge so why not why not it's going to remove that stone. Sorry about that. I'm also realizing that this is actually the incorrect uh, highway because I think this is one way, isn't it? Yes, indeed it is. We need this one. Let's let's um let's just upgrade this when that actually takes away. What? Okay, I guess we'll just. You're being weird, skylines. So we'll just draw that in again. There you go. There's our bridge. And I think that should be a reasonable height. It's actually, it actually doesn't look too bad. I think a little fishing boat would, would be able to get under there. Nice. I like that. And then, of course, the highway here is going to come over and probably cross the rails here and, you know, go somewhere else. Um, but this ring road will stay elevated uh, throughout the uh, the downtown here. So... We'll keep that in mind as we come to the downtown, all right? It's going to stay elevated with, with possibly also Metro running in there. And then this, I think, is probably going to bend over into, into the downtown area. So let's, let's take a look at that. Let's bring you out by 10 and we'll go... Actually, we'll go out one, one more like this, right? Go up by another, and then out by another 10, and up. Let's take a look at that. 
Yeah, that's nice. Very, very hidden in the trees, which I'm fine with. I think that it adds a little character, right? So let's think about some sort of bridge. Should we do something like this? Where it'll go over in this sort of manner? So once once we get onto the river, we start bending, or should we start bending a little bit before? I think this is nice. Yeah, it's good. I don't mind too much this little dip. Maybe I do. Maybe I'll fix it. I'll fix it. So it's this, these two. So about here, but let's make sure that we are at the correct height. So there. Perfect. I think that's better. Let's take, let's take a look. Yes, nice, very nice. Ooh, I like this. I'm liking this. Cool. And then it'll just continue over uh, straight from here to about uh, where it won't create these weird nuggins of height. Yeah, like this. Perfect. Let's zone something out, and I'll 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 quickly show you what what I'm going to do with the zoning. I'm not gonna show it all because it can it can take quite a while. So I'm gonna. I'm going to be very controlling with what types of houses comes in here. So in some of these squares, we'll leave a space for a path. But otherwise, we're just going to zone it out like this. These will have... Uh, let's do three by fours there. So like this. But yeah, that, so that's how I'm going to zone this out. I'm going to zone out some, wait for them to grow in, make sure that they're the right ones that we want. And then uh, we'll zone out the rest. This this way of zoning, of course, also helps with the death waves that are so notorious in city skylines, because you are lowering the the lowering lowering the rate at which people come into the city, which means you're also lowering the chance of everybody dying at once, which is a problem if you've played city skyline for any extended period of time. You know how a death wave can hit you like you wouldn't believe. So this way can can help you avoid that. Now for the little plaza I was talking about, I created or we created in the episode that was never shown something similar over in the Artivan Triangle. Uh, about where did we do that? Here. Electricity issues? Are you out of fuel again? Or what's happening? Yeah, you are out of fuel again. Man, man, man. All right, hold on. Let me rethink our electricity provider here really quickly, and I'll be right back, and then we'll talk about the plaza. All right, well, who would have thunk it? Geothermal is the way to go. So I've put in two geo geothermal power plants. Let's take a look at the plaza. So we want to create something similar to this. So it's not perfect here, and it is glitching a little bit, but basically these are just paths with a sort of um, cobblestone decal on it, which you get in the in the Park Life DLC under City Park, you get this. This is what I used. You also have some other versions of it in the other park areas. The uh, the fun fair where the roller coaster park is absolutely hideous. It is not pretty at all, so I won't use that. But there's some different things we can go through. So this gives me sort of a Lisbon-esque vibe We'll go into our paths, and I just use the uh, the regular paved path because it has the light post on it. The dirt path does not. Dirt path does not. <laughs> and we'll just place a few of these down, like so, and then we'll place paths that crosses this at certain intervals. Of course, if you have prop line, line tool, you can use that. I don't have that, so it's manually installed for me. So let me speed this up so you don't have to sit and watch this. All right, and there we go. And we were just casually losing money i think because i don't know some buildings got abandoned in the meantime which i'll i'll run back and fix and some some people here are screaming for work we still have big boy 
big boy demand. Uh, but where did we go? Ah, here. I got scared because I couldn't see it zoomed out. I think that's maybe the tree lot fix or something. Uh, but anyways, here we go. That's that's a little bit of a plaza. And then, of course, we have a little bit, you know, holes here and there that can always be fixed with a, you know, table there. We'll just place these, like, maybe at somewhat random intervals, uh, like, throughout this, right? Just talking about a detailing palette. Of course, we'll come back in the detailing time lapse. And it's a lot, a lot of stuff to think about. But a very nice looking plaza with, with some light. And even at night looks just it looks fantastic with these with these lights scattered scattered around mm, i love it i love it i love it love it love it anyways let's let's keep zoning so i'll i'll zone this 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 area out and uh i'll show you what it looks like afterwards very fantastic so a little bit of a of a palette to look at now i purposely deleted all of the uh, art deco buildings so like any bigger apartment building. Let's see if I can find one. Uh, so, well, these we didn't want in there. Um, and also uh, Art Deco. Do we have maybe over here in the original part of town? I'm usually quite... Ah, here we go. This one. I'm not a big fan of this building. Um, I don't find it super pretty. I left it here because it, it fit it fit the theme. <laughs> But over in uh, an unnamed part of town, I didn't I didn't want it. So I made sure it didn't grow in. Uh, look at that. Nope. Grow in again, please. Uh, but yeah, so the, the process is that. You zone it out look, bit by bit. Wait for them to grow in. Delete the ones you don't want. And then you make the ones that you do want historical. And then, of course, we, we add a little bit of a repeated pattern here and there. So these three uh houses that are almost almost the same as well as over here in this sort of the plaza area right so these you know maybe maybe some more famous people would live here right uh <laughs> i don't know uh but some repeated spice at least and and then you know it repeated a little bit over here as well some more repeated spice alongside here and some repeated houses here with lots of gaps for for paths and and detail detailing to come through Let's see, is, is the school busy? Well, oh, the school is super busy, but cool. So that's sort of the look that we are going for. I very much like the uh, the red roof here. I may delete these others and, and make sure that it's it's the same house on both sides here that sort of continues this elder care, elder care roof because it's it's just, it's so pretty with, with these uh, red tile roof, right? I don't, it's not tile, I don't, for, I don't remember what it's called. But yeah, okay, so that grew in instead, I believe. Where was this one? It was this one. Let's let's make this historical. Let's I'm gonna delete these as well. Uh just so we can wait for the right building to grow in. And the one I'm I'm actually looking for is this one. So there you go. Just wait a little bit, played some whackable, and now now we're in. Perfect. It looks super nice, doesn't it? So I'm going to go through and zone this part out as well, and then we'll be right back. All right, and here we are. So took a little bit, but zoned everything out, waited for stuff to grow in, delete everything we didn't want, and, you know, just kept on continuing like that. So we created a bit of a suburb feel here with some repeated patterns of, of different houses, right? So same house down one street. Uh, mixed and matched a bunch of different assets. We have the... Um, uh, let me see. I believe this is from the university um, pack, and then these are from these over here are from the um, European suburban, what you call it, content creator pack. But just a bunch of of different houses, uh, of different um, yeah, repeated patterns, and so on and so forth. And we've hit big town. Look at that! Fantastic! Wow! So now we get a campus area. Interesting. Uh, we also get a new tile. We get IT cluster. Do we get high density? We do. We get high density. Look at that. We get office zone, trade school. We get metro. I thought that was at 11,000. We do get metro. Interesting. Nice, nice, very nice. And blimps, sorting, post. Nice, cool. All right, we'll, we'll go through that uh, in the episodes to come. But however, that's 
that's how the suburb is is now looking this um to be named district with this this part that keeps freaking me out when i zoom out it like disappears <laughs> uh but nice yeah i love it all right it's it's uh it's connecting nicely and then of course like i said we'll have we'll have some um some commercial over here alongside uh this sort of stretch of the main road not facing onto onto this but phasing onto the, the smaller road. Of course, we don't have people stopping every which way. And all that commercial, I'll put in, in the detailing time lapse. So you'll see me using Find It as well on that. Um, but I think that's a good segue to jump into a detailing time lapse. So enjoy, and I'll see you afterwards. I thoroughly enjoyed detailing this area up. What a place. 
and what a map and what what a day what a game what a time to be alive <laughs> man i can't tell you how much i love of i love city skylines but thank you so much for watching and i really hope you enjoyed it if you did leave a like on the video subscribe to the channel if you want to follow along on the amazing journey of this beautiful city of tasa springs and until next time enjoy the rest of your day evening or night bye bye